Beer 30 is when you walk into a bar or a VFW, and in that 30 seconds, you can already tell. That guy right there is drunk, that guy's an idiot, and that guy down there knows it all. There are programs out there beyond the VA. Many nonprofit organizations. The Beer 30 Show. It's the Beer 30 Show. Made by veterans. For veterans. Joining in to the Beer 30 show. Today's, today's show, we are bringing in a uh, personal friend of mine. Uh, we've been friends for so long, I don't, I don't even I don't even remember how we met, to be honest with you. Uh, but he, he has started a nonprofit in the last four years called On Target for Vets. Uh, his name is Michael, and we will uh, we'll, we'll bring him up momentarily. Um, Danny, what what do you got going on? Oh, we ain't got nothing going on for our discussion show later. We're gonna be bringing in one of my friends, uh, also a vet. We'll talk with him for a little bit, and then uh, other than that, how's everything with you, Joe? Storylines that I wanted uh, to just throw out there. We can discuss more on it later. Um, but I'm very surprised. I, I wanted to get away with talking about football, but I'm very surprised that Pac-Man Jones, I don't know if you heard, but Pac-Man Jones, apparently he took a guy's helmet off, put the guy's head on top of the helmet and smashed it during the game and the ruling came out today they're not suspending him yeah I know I was at the game remember <laughs> oh okay that was something we were uh, so talking was, about earlier um, so is Pac-Man Jones is he on the Raiders or is he he's on, on He's on the Bengals. I mean, if he was on the Raiders, he'd be suspended for the year. <laughs> Probably. And then the news slash that Adam Scheffner just tweeted <clears throat> out was that the two two people that were involved in the deflate gate, uh, I guess they were brought back to work today. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know about that one. But with uh, with that being said, um, we got some questions, and I will let my friend Danny. I'll let him ask the uh, the first question. Bringing up uh, Michael. Michael, um, do you want you want me to call you Mike or Michael? You call me Michael. Okay. Everyone calls me Paul because my last name's Paul, but you can call me Michael. Right. Uh, we don't know how that one works. <laughs> yeah, I'll answer the you know just about everything except for shitbird. <laughs> Danny, Danny's name is Danny, but well, I guess it's Daniel, and I call him Danny. I've I've, I've known him for over ten years, and I don't think I've ever called him Daniel. Oh no, we've known each other since you were twelve and I was eleven. So you're what eighty five now. So uh, was it twenty years? <laughs> About twenty years now, Joel. So we are uh, that ten years needs to turn into a two. But uh, but yeah, I mean, being on the same football team, being in the military, everybody's always called us by our last name. Except for us, we've always called each other by our first name. So I think it'd be kind of weird if we call each other by our last names. So, yeah, anyways. the majority of my people that I, that I hang out with are military guys, so we still call each other by the last name. Yeah. So, uh, tell us a little bit about your um, uh, nonprofit there, Michael. Uh, uh, tell well, us first about I want, I, I, First, I want to remind Joel how we met, because actually I met <laughs> Joel right in his beginning of his injury and stuff and helped uh, actually 
steer him in the direction of skiing um, oh. through Brad Smith, who was a SF guy that um, I was close friends with. That's how I met Joel. And then Joel went on to become a U.S. Paralympian. So that's pretty cool. And we, you know, we, we networked with each other over the years with various different nonprofits to include Challenge Athletes Foundation. Um, I told, I think I told him about the mission continues, which I was one of the first fellows with that. So Joel and I both have a history of being involved with a lot of nonprofits and, you know, really communicating with each other about what we would do better or how it could be better. And basically, uh, I went on to start my own nonprofit in hopes that I could start implementing some of those ideas of, you know, veterans help, helping veterans without, you know, for me personally, I wanted to target more grassroots involvement, getting veterans, helping veterans as well as community, small businesses, you know, helping fund programs that are beneficial for the veterans recovering and, and through their injuries. And uh, that's what sparked On Target for Vets. And you can go to ot4v.org and you'll learn more about us, like us on Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. But uh, our mission statement is, you know, to uh, provide funding to, and support and mentor disabled veterans through adaptive sports and recreational therapy because that seemed to be really effective for my recovery. I think it was effective for Joel's recovery. You know, um, it just helps you to build your self-confidence back up to be involved with something that you can do even though you're going through recoveries. So I try to, you know, raise funds through grassroots uh, awareness and, you know, companies like All Copy Products, who's putting on a golf tournament this week, actually, tomorrow in uh, Lone Tree, Colorado. We are uh, raising money, and basically the money that we raise will be used to fund local veterans to participate in programs, whether it be skiing, whitewater rafting, you know, whatever they prefer to do. We try to help provide funds, you know. So, we're, And we're not just in Colorado. We're also in Tennessee. We do stuff in North Carolina. Um, October 9th, we have a fishing trip that we put on we basically rent a charter boat take about 80 veterans out and they you know do deep sea fishing which is a popular thing now, now my dear, uh, I don't know, is that your kid that you have in the background because if you're trying to talk and feed them at the same time i found that out the hard way it, it doesn't work they don't tend to like that <laughs> yeah i don't have kids here <laughs> oh you don't have no, I, I heard I heard that though. No, that would be me. <laughs> I um I I've been traveling and I'm currently in Omaha, so I don't have my usual setup in my usual quiet room. So. <laughs> oh, okay, my bad. Well, I I knew you had kids, Michael. I just I just didn't know. <laughs> yeah, they're supposed to be quiet, but I think the sucker ran out. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was joking with Michael, and I catch a foot. <laughs> it's okay no, 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 no. no worries so michael um uh how many how would somebody be able to like plan and host an event uh for your foundation um in their area basically uh we just team up and we you know start the line of communication you know set up conference calls and and we help guide them and, and you know of course we give them the 501 use our 501c3 to give them that tax deduction and help them facilitate those events but a lot of the things that we've been lucky with so far is there have been organizations or companies that are already putting on things and they just want us to be the beneficiary for it but i mean there are some things that we do host like we do host the the uh, charter fishing trip um and you know we'll just raise awareness in that area which is that's in moorhead city north carolina and then we'll put on an event in ohio a fun 25 mile bike ride and 5k and you know so there's different things that we've been doing with different places we've done a golf tournament in portland oregon which uh pacific office automation basically did put on and gave us ten thousand dollar check from the proceeds of that tournament so things like that but there's other we're, we're open to suggestions so if you have 
someone in the Colorado area that wants to put on an event, you know, whether it's a poker run or something on behalf of On Target for Vets, we'd be happy to, in, you know, do that. And basically our job is we help, you know, provide you with, you know, advertising and marketing that event and, and, um, you know, and then we also facilitate helping you provide funds in your local area. So if you have someone in Denver that you want to, you know, to fund or give a grant to, to help, you know, help them, you know, participate in, uh, activity of adaptive sports, then we're going to support it. Does okay, that answer your question? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so you don't just do things in Colorado and Tennessee, you do things all over the nation then. Uh, no, I'm not everywhere. Just wherever I have, like I've got an outreach coordinator in North Carolina who's really been, he's a Vietnam vet. He's retired and he's really, you know, done a lot there. And then I've got, uh, you know, my vice president, Mike Buechel out there in Colorado and I go out there a lot and ski and stuff like that. So, um, and just wherever I, you know, basically I'm reaching out to my network. So I'm just basically trying to do my part in helping eliminate the 22 suicides a year. You know, I'm, yeah. I mean, that's my way of giving back. I don't, I, no, no, no one in our organization gets paid. Every, all, we're all veterans helping veterans. And we actually have, uh, one guy that's still active duty. He flies Blackhawks for 160th special operations. And, you know, he's getting ready to get out, but he's been, you know, an anchor in making this happen for us at On Target for Veterans. Well, Mike, so we're. I forget, I just want to let you know that I've been waiting for a shirt. I still haven't got a shirt yet. I'll bring one out to you this week, <laughs> actually. I just wanted to make sure because he went skydiving and he was going to give me the shirt off of his back. And I'm like, nah, nah, dude, don't. Well, well, you're you're, you're a hat person too, so I'm gonna give you a hat. We got new hats that I think you're gonna love, and I want you wearing it. And I want you to take pictures of it. You wearing it because you're a hat guy. Well, I. I got to do something, man. Have you ever seen my head? It's like shaped as an egg. Like a scrambled egg. Uh, well, yes. <laughs> It's all good, man. You, you, you wear you wear the hat well with those sunglasses, man. You rock them. No, I rock, rock sunglasses. I know I rock sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. You know, like my squad leader told me in Germany, he loves me in putting hat. He put me as a beluga whale. Told me I had a beluga whale head. And he keeps on telling me that. And he literally didn't put that crap on a cell phone until the day he calls me beluga. So... I'm sure you came up with something to tell him too. <laughs> I don't know, Joel. I know I would. Quick on comebacks these days. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, that's but, one thing. Isn't that part of like the military 101? Is you know busting each other's balls? <laughs> oh yeah, that's totally one of them. I mean, I've gotten pretty good at it over the years in high school. I sucked at it, but now I'm pretty witty about it. And Joel just you know just has nothing anymore. I, I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> as, as long as you ain't the Marines and Navy, because they're too scared to say anything back and forth from it. Oh, I'm just I'm just surprised the Army doesn't talk. So, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Mike, um, I understand why Joel didn't want a shirt uh, from you after skydiving. Once you jump out from twenty thousand feet, it's kind of hard to get the fist stains out. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> but um, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm just happy to be on the show with Joel. I think that Joel's done great since his, you know, accident and re his oh, yeah. recovery. It's been a great, a great inspiration for a lot of people, and he still blows me away even with developing this podcast. I hope it, you know, continues to grow, which I'm sure it will, and, you know, you guys can help out a lot of people. And Joel's, he's got that humanitarian uh, personality like I do and wanting to help out, you know, do mm -hmm. our oh, part. Yeah. And, that's what it's all about is serving, still serving others, especially each other, the brotherhood that we have. And, you know, even still from the military, because, you know, we all so had each were, other's back. So you were military also? Yes. Uh, what branch were you in? Uh, I was in, in the Army. I was uh, with 3rd ID during the Gulf War, and then I was with the 101st after, and then 
uh, long range reconnaissance, the 103rd MI Battalion LERS, mm-hmm. or Division of LERS, I guess, was called. And now I know a lot of long range reconnaissance has since deactivated over the years, which, you know, being in Afghanistan, I think it'd be beneficial. But we did the same job as someone like a five, six man uh, SF team. And actually, I was attached to an SF scuba and halo team at one point or another and actually enjoyed it quite a bit. So basically, uh, my military experience just turned me into the already adrenaline junkie that I already was. It just made me worse. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the military tends to do that. See, I was Navy myself, so I was basically yeah. in a frat house. Um, <laughs> you know, we're, we're just squids and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. So, um, Anyway, let's get back to your uh, nonprofit. Uh, what's the uh, website? And can people donate to you guys on your website and that kind of stuff? Absolutely. You can uh, go to On Target for Vets, or actually OT4V, which is, makes it easier, OT4V.org. And we have a donate. You can even donate Bitcoin. if you, I know that some people are into Bitcoining, so we have that option as well as you know, just donate on the PayPal account. Okay, that's uh that's pretty cool. I mean, you got so you guys just do a whole bunch of little things, but it all helps vets regardless. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing that we're trying to really advertise to and let people know is that all the money that is raised. I mean, we have very low administrative costs because you know we operate out of our homes and we all work together. You know, to make it really inexpensive so that we can you know, give more money to the programs. I mean, we give money to the Paralyzed Veterans of America, which the racing team, because I give money directly to programs that are helping that's not to organizations, you know, and then you don't know where your money's going. I give yeah. it directly for that program so that it's funding that veteran or these veterans in all areas, which that's one of the reasons why I went with PVA, PVA Racing, because uh, I know... Jody, who runs the operation there and, and those funds where they're going. They're actually funding guys to participate in races all over the country. So, and that's one of the things that we do. We do, uh, we also fund sled hockey program here in Tennessee. And, um, you know, so, and then we'll just send people out to Colorado too. A lot, a lot of times we'll just pay for their, you know, their flight out to go ski and whether it's winter park or, uh, steamboat, which is one of my favorites and, and participate in a camp that's already existing. But, you know, just, we're just trying to fill in the gaps. There's a lot of programs out there giving, doing the same thing, but we're just trying to fill in, you know, help guys out that are less fortunate, don't have the funds to fly themselves out. We can help them out. Well, that's awesome. Um, do you guys like allow people to help like volunteer to help you guys and stuff like that? Yeah, we're always looking for volunteers in the area, and really we're just looking for people to help market us and use their network to create these grassroots fundraising efforts and show appreciation for, you know, the services that our veterans have made or the sacrifices they've made, you know, so they can give back. Because one thing that I always found being involved with all these uh, organizations is you always get a lot of people wanting and asking, well, how can I help? Well, the best way to help is either one, donate, two, you can uh, get involved with promoting the cause, you know, putting, getting in your community to start a small little fundraiser, you know, whether it's, you know, the simplest bake sale or whatever, or just raise funds in your local area on behalf of On Target Fest and, you know, show your appreciation. And then by doing so, we'll, you know, help advertise it as well as show where your money went to. You know, because, you know, you help this veteran in your local area, you know, that you want to help to participate in this camp that's in another area of the country. That's but, amazing. of course, Colorado, Colorado is a very popular place to send people. And, you know, there's key things, there's key places that, you know, some of these veterans have on their bucket list to do anything, whether it's skydiving, uh, skiing, you know, whatever. We, we'd like to help facilitate that. <laughs> well, I don't. We we don't. We're not supporting you by weed. <laughs> hey, my dream is to have a million dollars. Could you help me with that one? <laughs> yeah, we're not just giving money away either. Hey, Mike, I know you wasn't supporting that. You know, I was 
was just, I was just saying that you guys are supporting the supporting the driver of the flight to get there so that they can get the weed and whatever they do on their you know time is well it's on them just as long as they uh, make sure to to make the event that you send them to but that, that's that's the only thing I I have so many wisecracks that I've been talking about here in the last couple of days uh, being in Colorado because you know whenever Colorado comes up in the subject you cannot forget the weed well that's Washington and Oregon too there Joel <laughs> yeah I'm sure there's other, yeah, there's two, I don't know how many states now, probably, uh, what, close to 20 states that are doing it now, I suppose, but See, I Colorado is definitely the one that's producing the most tax revenue for their state, which I'm, and hopefully they're using that money wisely to help education and other things. That'd be nice, yeah. So you, you, you know they're not, Mike, but, you know, that, that's okay, we're, yeah. we're not, we're not going to get political on this show, because... <laughs> well, Joel, you'd have to lie a lot, and that's not in your nature. No, I can lie. <laughs> I'm just a really bad liar. <laughs> uh, so don't be running for Congress anytime soon, then. <clears throat> yeah. So is there anything else you'd like to add about your uh, program there, Mike? Because we're going to have to get going here pretty soon. Um, you know, coming up, we have the all-copy golf event. Friday, that's, uh, you know, you, hopefully you can check us out online on ot4v.org and follow us. We're getting ready to launch a new website with uh, a promo commercial that some uh, company here in Nashville is basically doing it for free, and it's a $5,000 commercial that they normally charge, you know, any local business to produce. And we're excited about them doing that and, and, you know, just becoming more visible across the nation and so we can help more people, you know, on a grassroots level. Cause, you know, I think that's, I think the majority of us are, you know, middle class people and we all want to help more. And they're typically the people that help the most for causes like veterans, you know, helping out veterans and their, you know, recovery. Well, that's cool. Oh, I mean, I, thank you for taking care of my buddy Joel after his injury. Um, <laughs> um, I, I'm loving what you guys are doing with the nonprofit, um, and we got. I think we got a lot of good information because a lot of us didn't know what you guys were about uh, before uh, we had you on the show. We had our secretary checking out all this stuff on your site and everything, and. Uh, we even looked at it ourselves and we're like, we just don't really understand what they do, but I think we have a much better idea now of what you guys do. And, uh, that's going to help the listeners a lot too. So, um, well, that's, that's because we're low budget and our website isn't that great currently, <laughs> but we are trying to upgrade it. You know, now that we have a little bit more money to put in to it, I think that we can advertise and get the message a little bit more clear because that was my work and I'm not no web designer or so oh. I was just trying to keep somewhat informed of uh, the public. And, you know, the key thing is liking us on Facebook so you can follow what we're doing on the current yeah, events. Yeah. Um, a lot of distractions. Sorry. Uh, That's okay. Make sure, <laughs> make sure before we let you go, Mike, if you could, um, on your Facebook page, is there a way that we can find it? I mean, you know, I know how Facebook has a little address, like for mine, for the Hunt for Gold. All you have to do is type in the Hunt for Gold and it pops up. But some people that haven't really established the address, it, it'll, it'll have something and then like a bunch of numbers at the end of it. Is there a, is there a special name or a way we can find your Facebook page? Yeah, yeah, it's just on target for vets after, you know, the Facebook.com on target for vets. And uh, also on our website, OT4V, you can go there and there's a, you can click on the Facebook icon on the About Us. It's There's on every page you can, you know, click us on the website as well. Okay, I'll 
All right, and we will uh, when we when we post this Monday, we will make sure that we. Um, I, I'm sure Brandy will get with you and get the correct spelling information and everything. We'll make sure that we post it in the comments and. You know, we have the YouTube channel, so you'll be on the YouTube channel, and we'll have this posted on the Facebook page, and you'll you know you'll be able to hear this live on uh, MBR Radio every you know Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But but you already knew that. Excellent. I'll be sharing it. You know your sharing your uh, podcast with all our viewers and supporters on our website and on Facebook, Twitter, and everything. So we'll, we'll, we'll be sending people your way. Before we let you go, Mike, is there anything else that you would like to add before we let you go? Hey, I'd like to come back and share with your uh, listeners in the future and, and, tell you about more, you know, later on, you know, tell you what we got going on and say next year or something or next six months. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. We'll, we'll mark that, try to come back here next October and uh, it is October, right? Oh, no, it's so no, September. Don't make me older than I am. Yeah. Come back here next September and we'll, we'll, we'll see how, how much a, a year makes. That sounds great. We'll hopefully both be grown and, you know, have one year under our belt more than we had right now. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, Mike, once again, thank you for being on the show. Good luck on the, uh, the golf outing, and I will catch you on the other side later, my friend. Yeah, hopefully we get to – I'll see you on the mountains skiing this year at some point <laughs> or another. So I, unless you have something to say, Danny, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and let him go. And uh, well, thank you for being on the show, Mike. Uh, we appreciate it. Pleasure meeting you, Danny. You too. Talk to you later. Take care, guys. All right. Well, awesome. Okay. Well, um, that's the two minute warning. Two minute warning is brought to you by Common Ground. Common, I, I'm gonna, I mess this up every single time. Brought Common by, Ground Golf Course. Yes, that's <laughs> I mess up every time though. Common, go, Common Ground Golf Course. It's a place for all the games and all ages. I know I butchered it and said that the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. Everybody gets the drift of it. So, uh, <laughs> what, what did you learn today? Oh, I learned a lot about how things don't go the way you want them to <laughs> here at the house that I'm at. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I got kids screaming in the background, people walking up with bags of cans up and down stairs. I'm just like, no, I'm trying to cover my mic up and you know, that kind of stuff. Is I'm actually having fun with it. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, I learned that maybe I should ask my uh my co host uh exactly what's going on before I try to joke with somebody about how <laughs> Oh, well, this is just a rare occasion. I'm at a different place, and I'm not in my little quiet nook. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, things happen every once in a while. We can't always control them, which happens in the military a lot. <laughs> what did, so, Brandy brings up a good point. What did we learn about on target for vets? What did we learn today about them? Well, we learned about the deep sea charter fishing expeditions. That's really awesome. That's something I really like to do. Um, skydiving, which I've never done that, but uh, my wife actually skydived once. Be kind of shocking because she's so quiet and reserved. But uh, yeah, she actually went skydiving once. But uh, I, I mean, that's that's awesome what they do. Um, I learned a little bit more about what they did. So um, as he said, he's going to try to get his 
website more up to date, the more funds they get. So let's go, people. Start donating, helping people out. Let's help these vets out. You know? Yeah, you know, the thing that me and Beanie are finding out when it comes to promoting and stuff, it's not cheap. It costs money just to advertise, just to let people know uh, that you're there, you know, and people can't, they can't utilize the service unless they know about it because sometimes... Oh. Word of mouth doesn't exactly, okay. you know, happen all the time. It's sort of beneficial. So, well, with that being said, um, we hope everybody had a good one. And you guys learned a lot. Make sure that if you have questions, concerns, suggestions, message us on our Facebook page. The next time we will see you guys will be Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we'll, have, we'll have a good discussion that day. So, with me and Danny signing off, everybody have a good day.